So if Annabelle had a boyfriend that was lazy as f did nothing with his life, sat at home, played video games all day, I'm pretty sure that his name would be Brom the Boy. What a f***ing waste. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Every time that a new scary movie comes out, I get excited, I think I can't wait to go in the theater and see this, maybe it'll actually be creepy. I want to feel creeped out when I'm paying to see a scary movie, and I didn't feel that for even half a second during this movie. So first off, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the acting, the production, and everything like that, and then I will give you a spoiler alert when I start ripping this movie a new asshole. The acting was alright for the horrible script that it was. However, most of the movie focuses on a little boy. He goes through something a little bit traumatizing in the beginning. He refuses to speak to anyone, so he writes things down on a piece of paper whenever he wants to communicate, and he holds it up. I mean, there's really not a lot of acting involved in that. First of all, it doesn't matter how traumatized I would be as a child if I ever decided that I was going to stop talking to my parents and I was going to write them little notes. I understand that some of Jude's behaviors would be upsetting, but I urge you to find a place where he feels safe. My dad would beat the f*** out of me until I said something. I'd be like, hell, problem solved. So they moved to this house to try to escape all the trauma that had just occurred. The little boy finds a doll in the woods, decides to take it in. And everything pretty much goes downhill from there. Now let's think about this logically. How many creepy things could a doll do in a film? Well, they could move their eyes, they could turn their head on their own. I just think it's all a little bit creepy. Maybe you hear their little feet tapping across the house. Well, all of those things happen in this movie and they don't feel scary at all. They feel expected, overly dramatic, to the point where you feel like you're dying inside slowly every minute that this movie goes by. You're waiting for things to get creepy and they just never do. The mother and the father did a pretty good job acting considering that they had to basically base their acting all around a mute child and a little doll that they think that their child is becoming too close of friends with. All right. At one point, the little boy starts dressing like the doll, and then the mother walks in and finds them doing some crazy kind of kinky. Okay, that didn't really happen in the movie, but if it did, at least would have f***ed you up in the head a little bit more than this movie ever could. Do you guys remember Goosebumps from back in the days on Nickelodeon and stuff? I have seen episodes of Goosebumps that were scarier, more well-written, and more well-put together than this film, Brom the Boy 2. Now, what about production value and production quality? You guys know I love cinematography here on the channel. I I will say that they did a good job filming it. I noticed a couple of techniques that they were using throughout the film that were interesting to me. A camera following someone down a hallway and when they turn, the camera kind of swings by the door. And that stuff right there, I can actually appreciate. So I will give kudos to the filming crew for actually recording good quality cinematic shots. The music selection for the movie, I didn't really feel was anything like, wow, making me on the edge of my seat, making me feel a lot of suspense. Another thing that they really tried hard to do in this movie but completely and utterly failed at is jump scares and they would throw these little jump scares in there gotcha when there was just nothing going on and it wasn't even that scary of a jump scare like at one point a tv turns on and you hear the static it's kind of like this i've been waiting 20 30 minutes for nothing to happen wham Maybe the doll did it. Maybe it was Brom. I would highly recommend to you guys watching this right now that are thinking about going to the movie theater, seeing this. Maybe you want to take a girl on a date. If your girlfriend loves scary stuff and you bring her to this movie, you will not be getting laid. Trust me. It's not a keeper. Not a good one. Throw it in the trash. You're going to be highly disappointed. So now I'm actually going to dig in, rip this movie to pieces because I hated every second of it. And now here we go. So the scariest part about this whole movie, it wasn't even the doll, it was the very f***ing beginning scene when there's an intruder and the mother and son are in the house and the intruders are creeping around in the dark, the son is awake, he knows that they're there, the mom comes down, turns the light on and the kid's like shh shh and then the f***ing guys attack the mom and they basically smack her in the head one time and you don't even know if this bitch is dead or not, she's just laying there in a puddle of blood, the kid's like what the f***. 
burglars run away. So the kid is traumatized, he doesn't want to talk to anyone. He goes inside, he turns inward, becomes a mute, starts writing everything down on paper. They decide to move to this house out in the woods. When they first get there, the kid finds a little doll in the woods. So they bring the doll in, and over the next couple days, weeks, whatever, things start to get a little bit creepy. As I said before, there are so many scenes that are just so predictable. The doll is sitting on the couch, the mother walks away, the camera is zooming in on the doll's face, and you're like, okay, it's either going to turn its head or move its eyes. And then it moves its eyes, and then they make a crazy sound effect like it's the scariest thing that ever happened. So it's basically something like this. <sighs> it takes more than that to get a good scare out of someone. I wanted to feel afraid sitting in this movie, but I couldn't. And then there was that other scene where Brom wants to eat too. Mom says no, Brom is not eating dinner tonight with us at the table, he's a doll, he doesn't eat. And then they walk out, the big ass kitchen table flips over. You don't see it happen, but you just hear it. Obviously the little kid is not strong enough to do that himself. It's just a whisper first. And then he's writing down on the paper, you made Brom angry, oh God. Basically, the little boy becomes attached to this doll and wants it around him at all times. Bad things start happening to people around the kid himself. And I got about an hour and 15 minutes into this movie and I left. I fucking walked out. I have not walked out of a movie almost my entire life. I don't think I really ever have. Usually I've sat through it no matter how bad, no matter how boring it was. I really felt my time just draining away. I am a minute closer to my death and I'm sitting here wasting it on this dog. I couldn't get all the way to the end, I'm sorry. I tried, I wanted to spoil the f out of it and tell you guys everything horrible that happened, but I mean, it just, it wasn't worth it. I actually went into this movie with low expectations and a lot of times in the past, when I go into something with a low expectation, it usually turns out better than I was expecting. It actually was lower than my low expectations. Trust me when I tell you I don't want to be ripping these movies apart every time I make a review. I just want something that I feel is good. Something that has a replay value to where I would want to sit down and watch it again or show somebody and say, you know what, this thing scared the f*** out of me. You got to see this. It's crazy. But I just feel like we haven't been getting that lately. Hopefully some new movies will come out that'll actually be entertaining. We work hard on this channel to bring you guys scary content. We do the paranormal investigations. We travel all over the place. We order dark web mystery boxes. Whatever the hell it takes to make stuff creepy for you, we are dedicated to doing it. And we're also dedicated to bringing you the scary stuff out there, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. I'm sure that there are people out there who are going to say, well, dolls creep me out, so it was scary to me. I hated it, disliked it. One out of ten, the lowest rating I could give it on the scale. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me if you thought this movie was any good, if you did see it, and if you hated it, tell the people down in the comments so they know not to waste their time the same way that I did. Also, we have a new giveaway running right now. Right now there were four winners for the speakers that we gave out and as a 10,000 follower giveaway we have a really creepy oddity something that's a little collector's item it's scary as hell looking your girlfriend wouldn't like it in the house but we're gonna give it back to one of you guys for following us on Instagram so make sure that you follow our Instagram MindCTV also if you want to hit me up directly you could hit me up on Instagram at Casey Nolan 24 7 that's the best way to get in touch with me these days honestly send me a DM if you want to talk we also got our new brand logo out with our new gear and it's looking sick as hell I just ordered a shirt for myself a beanie and one of the limited edition hoodies sorry guys I took one there was only a hundred of them being sold and there's only like 30 left right now I'm gonna go ahead and pop that trailer up for you guys so you can check out the gear and I will catch you next time we just released our new brand called Mind House. This is Mind Seed TV remastered and the gear is looking hotter than ever. Also for a limited time only we have a limited edition hoodie out that looks so badass. These won't ever be made again and there are only a hundred of them available right now. There's links down below in the description and also in the comment section. If you want one of these make sure you get your hands on it quick because these will sell fast and there's only a hundred of them being sold. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you soon. Nope.